YouTuber Shane Dawson's latest video was only up for a few hours under the title Our Wedding before he switched the thumbnail and name to The Fate of Shane Dawson. If he really wanted to remain consistent with the naming convention of his recent uploads, he could just call them People Without Real Jobs Waste an Afternoon, Episodes 1 through 20. If I wanted to see messy people with no daily obligations waste their days in aimless boredom, I would go back to supervising daycare only they won't let me back because of the mean things I said to the children. Today, we learned that a Shane Dawson video by any other name would still smell as musty, with yet another meandering 45-minute vlog with exciting activities like deciding what the vlog is about, going to Walmart, and the timeless classic uncomfortable conversations to help publicly justify Shane's lack of commitment. Ugh, he's even more cheesy than those kids at the daycare I used to make fun of. So grab your Olive Garden coupon mailer and join me for another Shane Dawson seasoned installment of Clip Breakdown. <laughs> Hello television viewers, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel for another installment of Clip Breakdown. This is the playlist where we dive into our favorite movies, TV movies, and other content here on the web, and we snap it into little clips like the section of a Hershey bar, so we can say, is it chocolatey or is it, who cares? Who cares about that part? <laughs> Shane Dawson posted another video and it made me mad, as it should. I hate to see tacky people succeeding. Sorry, it's my one flaw. <laughs> But before we get into it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You know I want to know if you want to know more about Shane Dawson. Also, make sure you click subscribe if you are new to this channel or if you're just watching from the sidelines without subscribing. That way you never miss new videos. I upload two new ones every week. Babe, don't miss out on the videos. Okay, this... Uh... It sucks from the beginning, and I'll show you now. Just relaxing in the jacuzzi. Remember when I said I hated LA? Oh, things have changed. Well, I think the jury is still out on how LA feels about you, but it's not really a city that traditionally embraces the kid who gets in the swimming pool with his shirt on. I didn't invent Hollywood. That's not me saying it. I've been a kid who wore his shirt in the pool, and now I realize that just is a like a really unforgiving, wet, clingy garment now. That's creating even less mystery than if you just took your shirt off, but I was ashamed of my body. Now look at it. <laughs> what if there's like a human face here? <laughs> this was how I, I revealed my twin. How did I just know that Shane owned a hat that looks like that? The kind of racist riverboat captain would be wearing in a Mark Twain book. It looks like the kind of hat Chris Pratt would wear to a wedding where all of the men refer to each other as best buddies because it sounds gay to have a friend. When I was like in middle school, me and my sister, I think went through a phase where we thought it was hilarious to jump in the pool with our clothes on after the school bus dropped us off. That gives this energy. Like, girl, please calm down. You're gonna get mold. This is so stupid. I mean, yes, most people would take off their Balenciaga sneakers before stepping into a hot tub for a joke that's not even funny. But I don't know what kind of war is going on underneath those sweat socks. So if Shane thinks it's smarter to just submerge the whole area into a chlorine bath, I say go for it. For all we know, that's preventing exotic invasive spores from disrupting all of Coachella Valley. Think of the Calabasas wildlife. Think of them. Think of those coyotes who eat the little dogs. <laughs> So Shane's in this hot tub. Like he starts every video being like, so here's how we got here. I called up Chris and said, we need to film a video. And now we're talking about what the video should be. Nah. Like, yeah, that part is understood. You eventually had to have the idea to make the video. Don't, why are you giving me the behind the scenes of the video in your dumb video? Oh, because there's nothing else going on? Great. Let me check my Twitter. <laughs> 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 Ooh, I always forget. <laughs> Here's a comedy rule that I'm now inventing. If you're going to have a blood curdling scream serve as the punchline, that joke better have a flawless setup. And the only thing Shane's been building to so far is a hypertension diagnosis. Wearing clothes in a jacuzzi while he's drinking caffeine, he's gonna incubate a new super strain of athlete's foot in those 
and ugly shoes of his. From a fashion standpoint, Shane is really lucky that luxury brands still release at least a few pieces that even your shy 13 year old cousin in their awkward phase would feel safe in. I had to pick that shit out at Walmart. Then again, I eventually matured past the mental age of 13, so I definitely wouldn't trade that for a pair of Shane's damp sneakers. What I think is annoying and lame and boring is that Shane gets in the hot tub with a hat and a sunglasses and a shirt on and he's like sending pictures to his agent being like, I swear I'm fine. Oh my God, I swear I'm fine. Even though I'm doing this crazy thing. Ah, like girl, you have a washer and dryer. It's not that big of a deal what you're doing. He's so crazy. Love her. Chris, like the camera operator, Shane's always trying to give him a good nickname. He's like, what can I call you? Because I want to fuck you. <laughs> so he's like Googling famous Chris's. Famous Chris. Oh, okay. Duh. Chris Pratt. Oh no, he hates gay people, right? Or no, he doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> I love Chris Pratt. Are we not allowed to love Chris I Pratt? Know. I swear, I didn't even know that he was gonna say that when I made that joke about Chris Pratt earlier. That's just how much Shane Dawson gives off the vibe of someone who secretly admires Chris Pratt. Maybe that's the kind of Hollywood leading man type that Shane Dawson sees himself becoming one day. Assuming he's ever able to cobble together something that people can sit through without mourning the precious time that's wasting away. Like, yeah, Shane, we know you like Chris Pratt. That's because both of you equally feel repulsed by the gay things inside of you. In my video last month, I was talking about how Shane Dawson <laughs> liked Chris Pratt's Instagram Jesus post, and I said how he would, you know, support a secretly Trump supporting Republican. I've never had the sense that Shane Dawson has seen one of my videos ever until now, because I'm like, I just admonished you for that. Why are you conveniently brought it up? But it also could just be that he truly loves Chris Pratt, and Chris Pratt comes up a lot in daily conversation for him. Also, Reddit. Could have just read his Reddit post. The Reddit post that I cited on it. Let me hydrate and calm down. So like always, Shane put a Instagram story out asking people what he should do for their video. And everyone was just like, are you really gonna get married? Are you really gonna get married? So he says he is starting to wonder if Ryland actually believes that Shane doesn't wanna marry him. Cause that's like the running joke. It's like, well, you're the one who's saying it. Do you really think I don't wanna marry you? I know you don't wanna marry me. That's <gasps> true. Chris, oh, 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 this is you know I wanna marry you. Okay, not for, the like, pretend that Chris isn't here. I never do that. <laughs> <laughs> pretend he's not here. Can I pretend that I'm not here? I'll just put on a sleep mask and a white noise machine and bliss out, acting like I never even witnessed this sensitive conversation Shane is having, or his curdled cream pie hole. If there was ever not a time to joke about being in love with your camera twink, it's while you're trying to act surprised that your fiance did in fact take the hint that you don't love him. Or whatever this is. I mean, I didn't say it was a great thing to make a video about. My main issue is that every time Shane looks into the camera lens and acts flirty, I keep f up my MacBook screen with pepper spray. And the first thing they do at the Apple store is check for liquid damage. I'll put it in some rice later, but I'm not happy about it because I was gonna eat that rice. <sighs> so Shane feels so bad all of a sudden now that the cameras are rolling. It's like as though they don't have any conversations about this outside of when it's actually on video, which is not super hard to believe, but it is super hard to smile about. It's kind of sad. Oh, then I smiled. <laughs> smiled broadly as I said that. <laughs> What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? I'm so crazy. I should get into the pool with my clothes on. <laughs> Okay, okay. So they start talking, talking, talking about like, oh, maybe that's the video is like, we have an impromptu wedding and surprise Ryland. And then they like continue to talk like that. And then I'm like, is this really what this is turning into? I doubt it. That would have been way more headline grabbing if they actually got married on camera. But they like involve the Ryland's sister, mom and grandmother. And they're like, oh, really? Are you gonna get married? And Shane's like, I don't know. I was actually half joking up until now, but now I feel on the spot. Like it's a little uncomfortable to Watch. They have this spirit spinner, obviously, that they're gonna use to decide if they should get married today. He's like, this is such a big decision that we have to put it into the hands of this magic eight ball. And the whole family's like, you're right, Shane, you're right. Let's gather around. And also Shane's mom calls because they called her first and they're like, oh my God, how did this happen? And it's like, the number looks like it's coming from Chile. So they're like, it looks like it's coming from Chile. It's like, what do you even think that that means? How do you even think that that's significant, Shane? You don't, you're just trying to kick up mud to make it look like you did something for a video. 
video. We feel like we need to get married soon or else we're never gonna do it, but I, I don't know if God is telling me that it's a bad idea and that I should wait. What do you think? I think it's wild that God would choose this moment to tell you that what you're doing is a bad idea. He didn't want to send down a quick burning bush to warn you when you were painting your face brown and calling yourself Shanene. Okay. I, I, it does kind of make sense that if there is some sort of omnipotent creator, he would have to be an even shadier b than me. Cause I was born from hith rib, hath rib, hath ribbeth, ribbit ribbit. That's really abstract and hard to understand, but that's just the way organized religion is. Total made up bullshit. Oh, and speaking of signals from the universe, we're getting some pretty strong ones lately that newsflash, our planet is dying. My birthday was April 22nd, that's Earth Day. Over at the UN, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change released another report that is not good news. Basically what we know is the world needs to be investing six times more what it currently is to mitigate climate change. We need to make big steps towards removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The easiest way we have right now is to plant trees. Other ways are being developed like using chemicals to remove atmospheric carbon and adding nutrients to the ocean, but they're like an early development, so trees. He goes and even has a conversation with Rylan's mom about whether they should really do this. And then they turn it into a jokey thing where he's like asking for her son's hand in marriage. I never thought I'd have two moms. That's so crazy. Well, I always like wanted to be that kid, but you know, like my moms. Um. <laughs> Oh good, now we have recorded evidence as of April 2022 that Shane Dawson still finds the sheer idea of lesbians to be laugh out loud hilarious. I'm here to challenge that generalization, Shane. Ellen DeGeneres hasn't made an unbrainwashed person laugh since 2003. He got called out for all of this lazy off-color humor, so it's unusual that his content today is just him doing the same thing, but at somebody's nice mom. It's an important moment for historians to take note of. If there are any Shane Dawson biographers watching this video or like explorers from the future trying to figure out how society failed, we diagnosed it. Diagnostics achieved. Beep, boop, boop. Back to the ship. Even in the midst of trying to make every event that happens to him the most monumental thing, he can't get through a sentence without a joke. Will you give me your permission to marry your daughter Riley <laughs> to be my wife? I don't love the idea of having to get fitted for a suit but should I just get over all of that and just end with her? her? <laughs> <laughs> That's Shane cueing his cameraman to laugh along with him so that we all in the audience are tricked into thinking something funny or entertaining just happened. But it didn't. Rest assured, rest assured. Ooh, my electrolytes just kicked in. Rest assured. Remember America's Best Dance Crew, the Juggernauts? They had masks on and they were like, that's me. Shane sure seems to love referring to Ryland, a self-identified gay man, as a girl or a woman, which to me just feels like the product of misogyny in this case, because Shane is using womanliness seemingly as a joke or an insult. It also seems like internalized homophobia since Shane can't get through a serious sentence about his marriage without subtly reminding us that he believes heterosexual romance is the true normal default. I feel like that's my issue with most of Shane's humor is like, it's not making a joke about gay people as though he's part of the LGBTQIA plus community, which he is as a bisexual person. He almost gives off to me the sense that as a bisexual, he feels like he's above other types of queer people because he still has some heterosexual attraction. It's subtle because he's never outright saying it, but that's what comes through in the way that he talks about Ryland being gay and Chris being gay. It's always very much like, oh, well, you're gay. Remember, you're the gay one, not me. I obviously want to get married. I just don't want our wedding to be like a YouTube video. Okay, well, what do you want the YouTube video to be about? Because you're already 18 minutes in and so far all you've accomplished is rinsing out your cream soda creases in the hot tub. Why is he acting as though this now means he has to leave Ryland at the altar in front of a crowded church? Like this was all your dumb idea to begin with. He's like, I have to back out. It's like, you didn't even do anything. What are you backing out of? You can't even fake marry your fiance. Maybe like with gayness, all of Shane's fans have a genetic variance as well, where they can't detect inauthenticity in white male faces. So Teresa, Shane's mom, basically talks him out of this whole thing we've been doing for the whole video. I have push something just to do it when you may regret that because I know Ryland has always wished 
for something really beautiful. Shane's like, oh, I actually didn't even think of that. Cause which one is Ryland again? Is that the old lady that I keep calling grandma or the young man who I keep calling gay slurs? I can't say I blame Shane for his confusion. Every time we watch one of these videos, his house feels so stuffed full of no personality Midwesterners. It feels like I'm standing in line at Arby's. Sorry. So then I guess they decide that, all right, great. For the rest of the video, we'll just do all of this as a joke, a wedding rehearsal. No, you're right, you're right. Aw, Shane, don't apologize. Just delete your entire YouTube channel and get a job over editing other people's content. I hear that Samara from The Ring is starting a new lifestyle vlog, and I think that she's just gonna love your glitchy TV aesthetic that you seem to think makes everything so entertaining. It's very incredible to me that this is how Shane's 45 minute long videos are created. Shane calls up Chris to say they're gonna film the next day. They spend an entire afternoon recording themselves talk about what they will do or won't do in the video, all while acting like their very lives hang in the balance. And then it ends with uh, Ryland and Morgan just putting on the ugliest clothes they can find, playing dress up and piling into a car to drive somewhere pointless. We've seen that play out again and again and again and again, which is probably why at this point, Shane needs to keep switching titles and headlines to confuse people into clicking the video twice and try to get this thing on the trending page. And he just changed it back to our wedding again, but this time with the photoshopped tuxedo. The YouTube trending page is garbage, by the way. It wouldn't bother me if I never got onto that trending page because this is where the standard is. I'm content to just live with the knowledge that I could get on camera rattling an old shoebox full of my loose kidney stones and it would still be funnier than Shane Dawson's most carefully worded joke. By the way, I just listed a bunch of new kidney stones on my Etsy store this week. They're super cute. I painted some of them with sparkly nail polish. <gasps> so they decide to do like all of these wedding type things, but in the most podunk way. Like they go to Ralph's to get some cakes to sample. They go to, uh, 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 doesn't matter, stores. I've been wanting to try the Little Debbie's ice cream <gasps> at Walmart. Is it just me or has Shane been wanting to make a video about trying this Little Debbie's ice cream from Walmart ever since his last video where he tried the Little Debbie's ice cream from Walmart. Like you seriously already f***ing did this and it was boring as hell. Why don't you just buy the stupid ice cream and eat it without trying to delude yourself into thinking that's the type of groundbreaking content people want to see from you. Not me. I get how this is gonna sound, but for me, it's a huge red flag if the person I'm with is saying anything other than how adorable I look while they're taking pictures for my Instagram. That's the only thing I need to be hearing. Why is Shane even so embarrassed? Mama, this is Walmart. They got an RV in the parking lot being used as a mobile birthing center. So uh, I swear, nobody gives a Little Debbie's snack cake about you taking a picture of your boyfriend while he tries too hard. They get some Olive Garden. I love Olive Garden. Like, can you hold your drink and give him a speech? And, and tell, say how happy you are. I got something in my throat. Or maybe, uh, oh, yeah. I guess I <coughs> got something in my throat. Surely we could have trimmed out the section where an 80 year old woman is choking on lasagna. No one wants to get up and grab grandma a glass of water. Shane is like, Chris, zoom in. This is obviously the funniest thing that's happened all day. I think the most upsetting thing is how Shane and Ryland are back in this Calabasas mansion and still making Ryland's mom use the lid of their plastic takeout container as a plate. And this is your wedding rehearsal dinner. Must be saving the paper plates for the real thing, right Ace? Whenever that ends up happening, February 38, Chris in a rare on-camera appearance gives a almost too heartfelt speech for something that's not a real wedding. You're two of my favorite people. Um, you've both done so much for me and changed my life and given me my dream job. Yeah, my dream job is also working on one poorly improvised YouTube video a month. But unfortunately for me, that wouldn't even pay for a single plate of cold coagulated fettuccine Alfredo from Olive Garden. So I gotta step up production a little bit more than Shane does. And even if it were financially feasible for me to make like one shitty video a month, it would still probably be hard because like most YouTubers, Seems like we're just sort of baseline better at making videos than Shane is right now. Like, this is garbage. This is garbage. Sorry, babe. Why don't you go cry to Chris Pratt about it? Now the whole family has to get in the hot tub with their clothes on. <laughs> All right. Shane's <laughs> <laughs> feet out. Oh my gosh. There's nothing wrong with your feet. I've never seen them. Uh-oh. It took Shane all day to work up the courage just to 
take his shoes off before getting in the hot tub? And then Morgan instantly humiliated him for it. She's like, there's nothing wrong with your feet. I've just never seen them. And apparently they've never seen the sun. Toes looking more translucent than a box of fetal mice. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Okay, no. <laughs> Let's do that. Right, well, you're sitting in water that's 104 degrees Fahrenheit wearing a blazer from Chico's. Don't act like someone else made you do this. You just felt obligated to because I think you can probably sense that there's not a whole lot of natural comedy brewing in that nasty little soup of yours. This video is like crawling to its death. Why do you even need it to be 45 minutes long if it's literally so long? So when does it end? Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing with these videos, they never do. Okay, it's good to know that even Ryland finds these videos interminably dull. The reason Shane's videos never seem to end is because he's always holding out for something funny or memorable to happen. But there just aren't enough big personalities on screen in any of these videos to make what we're seeing feel worthwhile. It's not like when he's with Jeffree Star or Tana Mojo or these other people that you want to see interact. It's and nobody <laughs> and nothing. So uh, Shane has, just has Chris shoot hours and hours of footage from one single day that they decide on and then Shane cuts it all together indiscriminately. And that's the end of the video, except he has like two little post credit scenes in Marvel's cinematic universe over here. I had a dream that somebody chewed off my balls. Oh my God, why did they think about my balls? <laughs> I don't know, but leave me out of it, Leonardo Disgusto. Why does Shane think anyone wants to hear this type of humor from him? It's so creepy. And it's not funny. It's like, ew, I don't want to think about your fucking testicles. I've already seen what horse afterbirth looks like. <laughs> Some people say that Ryland and I look alike, and I can't say I've ever seen the resemblance. Although it is hard to ignore the fact that I used to wear that same exact fleece and t-shirt combo from Uniqlo's 2016 winter collection. Ugh, it's so humbling when the universe reminds me that I'm basic. And uh, that's uh, basically it. Oh, I'm gonna put this through the ring light. So that's what I wanted to do today. God damn it. This video is bad. Also, I've heard more and more rumblings about Shane submitting script drafts to his producing team that's gonna help him make a movie. I'm saying that with a lot of question in my voice. We know if Shane makes a movie, I wanna see every frame of that and I wanna do it justice. <laughs> Let me know what else you wanna see me cover of Shane Dawson or other influencers. Is Gabby Hanna doing anything? Let me know in the comments below. Also give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna see even more clip breakdown from me. Also, don't forget to click subscribe. I upload two new videos every week and you're gonna miss them if you don't turn on all the notifications. Also, I've got merch available and a Patreon where it's really fun. You can help give your audio commentary or join virtual watch parties and live streams. You guys are all the greatest. Thank you for looking this horse after birth right in the eye with me today. I will see you next time.